Hi everybody and uh, welcome back uh, to the uh, next uh, video of the uh, solar panel uh, solar installation. Uh, I said I'd come back to you and let you know how things are going on with uh, the actual uh, install of the panels themselves and um, yeah things are going very very well. It took a long time, a lot longer than we expected actually. That was partly because of the um, bird protection which uh, um, which is kind of a mesh which goes around the outside of the um, solar panels to prevent any birds uh, from nesting underneath. That was a little bit of a disaster and I'll tell you more about that um, in uh, in just a moment. But uh, part one really uh, was getting the rails up as you saw uh, on a previous video. Uh, part two, which was most of the morning's work, was setting up the cabling um, to have a complete loop uh, from one end of the uh, solar panel array uh, to the other uh, to the other side. It was slightly complicated, and I'll show you some uh, wiring diagrams. Uh, well, not diagrams, but uh, wiring routing, uh, which uh, which was uh, on the inside of our loft that you can see. Obviously, you can't see the ones on top of the uh, tiles uh, because, of course, they're underneath the uh, solar panel, sort of tucked away. Um, but uh, yeah, so a, a lot of it was to do with getting the inverter sort of in place, um, of which I've got some photographs of that as well for you, uh, and also getting the um, the cabling uh, from the panels uh, through the various um, the sides of the roof. Uh, slightly complicated, like I say, because we've got the uh, sort of the southeast um, facing element of our roof. Then, of course, we've got the gable. Uh, which is the westerly uh, uh, facing edge of our roof. So of course, that's uh, that's what they had to bring the cabling in through uh, through the other side there. But, but, but no problem. They're, they're very very used to used to doing that. Um, so that was that. And that actually took quite a long time. Uh, like I say, we've got twenty five panels uh, on our roof. So come to a clockish. Um, they they arrived by about nine thirty, quarter to ten. Coming over from the Isle of Wight, it's, it's quite a stretch. Um, and um, by two o'clock, uh, the the first of the panels went on. Uh, they started on the westerly face uh, and the side gable uh, elevation, and um, they were really up against the clock. They really wanted to finish. Uh, yesterday, um, well, it, it, I'm, I'm doing this video uh, later on. Uh, yesterday, they wanted it to take the two days, but it was the uh, bird exclusion kit that was uh, taking some time. Um, and I looked at this, and it didn't look all that great. Um, I have to admit, um, the guys that um, Chris was suggested to me that they, they don't normally fit it. It's not something that's requested that often. Um, and birds nesting, if it does happen, people don't even know about it most of the time. But I just thought for an extra 190 quid or 200 quid, whatever it was, over 25 panels, it would just took the, the worry out of any sort of nesting or any problems for me. So I thought in the big scheme of things, 200 quid, you know, get it done. Um, but once the panels were up on the sort of the westerly edge and the westerly face of the of the roof, I took a look at it. And I thought, well, these are beautiful, sleek black panels um, and they've just got this bloody awful uh, chicken wire essentially around the outside of the panel. And what it does is it fixes onto the side of the panel with some clips and then it goes down the side and sort of lays flat. Uh, over the, following the contours of the of the roof slate uh, the roof tile, um, so it almost looks like a kind of a chicken wire skirt around the bottom of the of, of the panel. Um, so one, this was taking the guys much longer to install. Uh, I guess they weren't really they, they they don't do it that often, so they're not exactly going to be a slick about it. Um, and it looked bloody awful. Um, I won't tell you my my choice words, but as I came around the front of the house and had a look at it, I said, guys, um, that um, bird exclusion kit looks shit, is basically what I said. Uh, they turned around to me and said, it does. Um, it does the job, but it doesn't look great. Um, what do you want to do? I said, well, look, don't put any more on. Um, let's have that whole uh, face without it. And... Uh, hopefully you'll have enough time to uh, to take off what we've put on. So, you know, the guys were, they were, Ross and Chris were absolutely fantastic about it. 
Um, I completely changed the goalposts, uh, made them go back, take it all off, um, stretching for curious angles to sort of try and get around it to sort of get it off. And um, yeah, I mean, I really messed them about with that. Uh, but there was no point uh, getting it done when it just didn't look great. I mean, I, I looked at it, I had my ha well, head in my hands thinking, this just doesn't look right. And I didn't want to continue with something that wasn't going to look right. Um, so anyway, no bird exclusion. Um, and I would say to you, it's up to you, but but I, I wouldn't bother. I honestly wouldn't bother because it just looks, it looks ugly. And you've got as many owls faces on the front of our house. So it just, it just wouldn't look right. Anyway, um, yesterday they finished all the panels on, on the roof and they look absolutely fantastic. Really sleek black panels. And they actually, they make the house look better. We don't live in an, the overly pretty house with brick and tile front essentially. Um, but I, 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 th I think, I think it, it enhances it. Um, well, it can't get any worse because the house is ugly anyway. Um, so I, I think it looks, I think it looks fantastic. Um, so, so come eight o'clock in the evening, the last few drops of, of sunshine, the guys packed up um, and uh, and went home. And then um, they were meant to be doing another job the following day um, on a um, electric. Um, um, ground source uh, heat pump um, and they don't like to leave a job unfinished uh, and so rather than starting that one and then coming back to see me on Monday um, Ross agreed that he'd come back up from the Isle of Wight today and he'd complete uh, the install so that they would leave the job completely finished and you know what that is the great thing I think about dealing with the people that run the company so you talk to the directors about the job and about the installation. The directors come round and they fit it. Um, there isn't a case of, well, the job's taken longer. We now need to find an, another installer to come back and complete the job who doesn't know the job or try and find that, try and get another time for that fitter to come back. They just get it done. Um, and they, they, they've been absolutely superb about it. And I, I, I really could not be happier. Um, so I, mean, I could sing their praises all day. And not only that, they're just nice fellas. I mean, they're just great chaps. Um, so that's um, uh, Scott and uh, Ross from uh, C, C2 Renewable. Um, they've left everything clean and tidy. They pack everything away at the end of the day. It was brilliant. Anyway, so today Ross came back. Uh, he was there about 10 o'clock this morning, having dropped his kids off at school and come over on the ferry, drove up from uh, Southampton up to our house here in Berkshire. 10 o'clock, cracked straight on with it. Um, wired up all of the uh, solar panels up to the inverter, um, finished off the sort of cabling in towards the um, consumer unit, uh, wired in the... Uh, consumer unit for the solar uh, and another uh, um, sort of CT box uh, which uh, allows us a monitoring from the solar edge and not only did he do that but he also installed the My Energy Hub for me, uh, configured it to the latest firmware, uh, he installed the, late, the uh, My Energy Eddy as well, got that communicating with the Harvey and the Hub, I mean what else? I mean, what else is there to do? Uh, he, he's done an absolutely uh, wizard job. So, you know, super, super, super happy with uh, with what he's done. And um, that's all up and running now. And I've I've taken a screenshot of the My Energy app, which shows, unfortunately, at night time now, uh, no solar being generated, um, a little bit coming off the grid and then going um, um, into our house uh, consumption. But you can also see on there the Eddy, um, and um, and yeah, you, uh, earlier on today, um, we were producing um, uh, some solar, some was going into the house and the rest of it, a kilowatt was, was going into the uh, hot water tank. So free hot water. I mean, that's that's really what, it's, what, what, what you want, isn't it? Um, so he finished up today about four o'clock um, and tidied everything away and uh, he's uh, he's off and that is uh, uh, the job uh, the job jobbed so um, yes I'll put up some photographs if I haven't done so already in, in, in the video um, and uh, give you some idea of uh, the sort of the layout etc and, and what the solar panels look like 
The um, solar rage inverter sits nicely up in the loft against the outside wall. Of course, that goes down and in, in towards the consumer unit, uh, which is directly beneath it um, in our study. Um, and then you can see the consumer unit, and then you've got the solar rage uh, CT uh, sensors, and you've got the My Energy um, Harvey sat uh, next to it. Uh, and I'll, I'll include a photograph of that as well. So, overall, happy? Yes very happy. Happy with the uh, installers? Extremely happy. They were clean, there were no um, clippings, he hoovered once he finished everything um, and I, I, for, for, for value, for their personal investment and for what I was able to achieve, um, I just can't fault it. It's been spot on. So uh, thank you very much um, uh, Chris and uh, Ross uh, for doing that. So uh, that's it from me then. Uh, this was just a closing video of the final parts of the installation. Um, I'm now going to look at some uh, data uh, over the next uh, month, uh, as I mentioned in uh, a previous video, talking about the consumption uh, on the Octopus uh, Agile tariff. Uh, we'll have a look at the generation that we're getting from the Solar Edge. Oh, one other thing I meant to say is that I don't own the data. I own the Solar Edge inverter upstairs, but I don't own the data that it produces that it, that it, um, uh, on the app uh, that, um, that you're able to see. That is actually owned by the installer. I don't know why. Maybe you, know, you, you buy it, you think it's yours, but it's not. It belongs to the, invert, to the um, installer. All that inverted data belongs to the installer. So on Monday, um, I'll get a call uh, from Chris and I'll get all the login data information. Anyway, essentially, it, it doesn't matter who owns it. I have full access to it. It's just it's owned, I guess, by the installer. I guess Solar Edge uh, licensed the installer. And so the, 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 the installer then technically owns the, the right to that data. And then he loans that right to me, I guess. Uh, we're giving the, the, uh, the setting. So I'll be able to show you um, some more Octopus uh, Agile uh, data in terms of what our consumption and our bills. Be able to show you more of the, or, or, obviously, uh, the solar edge data, uh, which shows our consumption, what we've um, used from solar, what we've used from the grid, uh, and what we've generated and what we've given back to the grid. Uh, so hopefully by the end of September, uh, another full month of Agile, uh, pretty much a full month of solar, and we'll have a good look at uh, what we've got and just see the reality of uh, owning the uh, solar system, which I'm, I'm actually quite confident about, I have to say. I think the amount of panels we've got on the roof here, we're, we're gonna do pretty well. Um, and it's a five kilowatt inverter, as, as I mentioned in the previous video. Today, uh, we also took delivery of our Nissan Leaf, uh, and I've been out for a drive in that, and that is just huge fun. I mean, the, it really is a separate video. It could be a, sep a series of videos, but I've been out in it today. I've stuck it on charge at the local Tesco's, dead easy. Um, I mean, put a few watts in it. Uh, and I've been driving around on the Eco and um, Leaf pedal and autopilot and all that sort of jazz. So a little buzz, it's been, uh, been fantastic. So that's for another video. And of course, charging that is gonna be something else as well, because of course we're hoping to generate that all from the, so from the solar, and that will be via the My Energy zappy so great hope everything's good i hope you've got um, something from it i uh, hope you enjoyed my ramblings at 13 minutes and 40 seconds and still going and i will uh, bid you goodbye uh, i've just got one of these um one of these things actually uh and it came with the connector for the iphone bracket connected to my tripod and it allows me to start and stop so I don't have to go in and press the stop button now. You see me reaching in for it. So I'm just going to praise this and say goodbye.